What's up guys, it is Criddle here from the Anime Ball Z team with another This Is. This week, This Is Samurai Girls. Let's get straight to it and let's get... Off the Tracks. Now, Samurai Girls is set in a fictional world where Japan actually kept itself closed off from the rest of the world. Just, you know, I guess the uh, events of World War II never happened, or Japan never got involved in World War II, so Japan kept itself closed off from the rest of the world, and the Tokugawa shogunate still controls the country. The story follows Mune Akira Yagyu and his misadventures with the girls of the Buo Academic School, which is set at the base of Mount Fuji. And considering he's the only male in the cast, well, let's just say... It's a harem series. In this series, we're actually introduced to a number of historical figures who are now girls. So Yukimura Sanada is in the series, not voiced by Jenny Young Bosch, obviously, but she's a very underdeveloped 15-year-old girl who is one of the main characters of the series and is as arrogant and headstrong as we know Yukimura Sanada to be. We're also introduced to Sen Tokugawa, who is Mune Akira's childhood friend. You know, she's that classy childhood friend who's hot one minute, she's cold the next. It's a true harem series. The series sets itself up as a battle anime with a harem element to it, but its true colours are very quickly revealed to be a harem anime with a battle element to it. Less battle, more harem, more etchy sort of stuff. So this series is definitely something to avoid if you don't want a lot of etchy stuff. And considering we have Matabe Goto as one of the characters in the series, yeah. Combine some over the top combine some over the top action with some fantastically etchy scenes, a lot of harem elements, and a sprinkle of the historical aspects of Japan, and that is Samurai Girls in a nutshell. Top that with a superpower kiss, much the same as Negima does, and instead of getting magical artifacts, the girls are upgraded into ultimate samurai sort of characters. So they get these ultimate weapons and they are supremely powerful and just absolutely badass, but obviously this is a contract that has to be sealed with a kiss. Adding even more level to the harem anime aspect. All the girls have to kiss the main character and all of them technically will fall in love with him over the course of the show. It's the way these series work. Now, the actual characters in the series themselves aren't as relevant as anything else. Mune Akira is probably the most influential character because he is the main guy. Everyone else is just a harem character. You know, you've got Yukimura, who is the headstrong, underdeveloped girl. You've got Matabe Goto, who is, you know, the overdeveloped, very, very voluptuous girl that is in the series. You've got another girl who is also a Yagyu, but she isn't the sister of Mune Akira. She's some girl that fell down from the sky and is just took on his name because she he's treating her like a sister, but she's obviously going to be quite an etchy character. A whole lot of elements like that. Just your standard etchy sort of characters that you'd expect in this sort of series. Nothing really amazing and over the top new, but you know, it's, a, it's an etchy series with a historical element. Expect familiar names on very familiar archetypes. Anyway, speaking of the characters, let's get straight down to what we really came here for, and let's find out... The good. The bad. And the dubbers. I'm going to butcher names over the course of this, so don't worry too much. David Matronga, credited as Ben Wobble, is the voice of Mune Kiriyagu. So he's the main guy, it's, it, he's that voice in the series. He's also the voice of Dr. Easter from Mardok Scramble and Shun from Tuano Kwan. Emily Neves is credited as Marie LeBlanc in this series. She's the voice of Jubei Yagyu in this series, but you may remember her as Kiri from Tuano Kwan, Lynn Lambretta from Bodacious Space Pirates, and Kanade Tachibana from Angel Beats. Hilary Hag is credited as Mine Jeto and is Yukimura Sanada in the series. She's also Mary from Dream Eater Mary and Nene from Bubblegum Crisis Tokyo 2040. Lucy Christian is also in the series and is credited as Tabitha Hickey, but she's also Ringo from Egg Gear, Nami from One Piece and Asuna from Negima, so we get that little bit tie-in with the Negima series. In summation, the series is a harem anime with a battle element which is nothing new. The kiss is nothing new either. We've seen it in Negima before and we'll probably see it in another series again in the future. It's nothing new, it's a way that the series just decides to do things. Thankfully the series is only 12 episodes long so it is able to keep itself relatively condensed without having to go into filler episodes and is able to keep the story mostly on track. So it keeps the harem elements 
and the etchy elements a little bit more subdued than they could have been. They're over the top in certain areas, but we don't have an entire episode dedicated to pure etchy stuff. The story has to continue, and the story is actually in this anime. It's not just one of those throwaway anime that you can sort of watch any episode and know exactly what's going on. You have to watch the whole series from episodes 1 through 12 in order to get the full expanse of the series. And this story element helps it get a 6 out of 9 in my eyes. So 6 out of 9 straw hats for this series. Thankfully, it's kept to 12 episodes, so the harem element doesn't overrun the overriding story arc. And it's a nice little take on the historical... It's a, hist a twist on the historical, which I, I love historical stuff. If you've seen anything that I've watched, I'm a massive fan of Sengoku Bizarra and all that sort of stuff. I play all the Samurai Warrior games. It, it's just... It's what I'm into. And that, that, that is why I gave it a 6 out of 9, you know. The harem element does bring it down a fair bit, and it's 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 not an original story, but it is entertaining enough for me to watch all 12 episodes. I've been Criddle, this has been Samurai Warriors, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. The story follows Mune... Mune... Yeah, Mune Akira. Mune Akira. Mune Akira. You've got Matabe Goto... Goto... You've got Matabe Goto... Goto... Go to.